We're about 40 miles south of Candlestick Point as we welcome you inside Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Arizona Cardinals and the San Francisco 49ers. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. something that holds up over time, doesn't it? If you're the visitors, you don't want to let the crowd in the game early. Yeah, and that's exactly what they did there. But you said also this defense, they're going to give them a lot of looks like we just saw there, aren't they? They certainly are. They're a proud unit, and they're going to ride the momentum of this crowd with them, and that's why they got after them early. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and all of a sudden here, it's third down. I thought they were going to sack him there like they did on first down. Great coverage, but he found a way to move with his legs. Yeah, his ability to take off. Not only did he get some yardage back, he got a little bit extra. Really helps him on third down. Makes it manageable now. Third play here. This opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Here's Stewart, off the play fake, rolling to his right. And he fires one, but incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. Start the drive with Lynch. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Tough running there. That's a hard earn four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. chains another good run there for a guy who remember on wednesday was named nfc offensive player of the week for what he did a week ago yeah and you know it takes some solid runs and some extra special ones in order to win that type of an award i think he's locked in and wants to get it done a second time so here's a first and 10 at the 38 and 10. Fields. A little juke. He'll check this down to Lynch. Complete. And getting this just shy of midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. 10 more there and another first down. Of course, he's coming off that NFC Offensive Player of the Week performance. Two scores in that game a week ago. And how did he get them? Speed is one thing, but how about the niftiness in his route running? Able Detroit, to cross Detroit. people up in the secondary and make sure that they can't quite get to him before the ball arrives. He's something after the catch as well. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. It was Maurice Hurst who got him down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. No, 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 no. Check. Patriot! Patriot! 
To throw on second down. Fields. That is caught by the former Gator Antonio Callaway. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. It's his first catch, and it'll be good for 15 at a first down. They go play action here on first down. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tucker roll that they can fall back on anymore. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Gone, gone! Gone, gone! Back to the ground, Lynch. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag. But you caused the play. You did it. I had to. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Right, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Following the penalty, Lynch. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Looking to throw on second down. Fields. Flush to his right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They Detroit! want that uniform Detroit! with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Charles, a little bit of feast or famine on this drive. They moved the ball okay, but they've been sacked twice now. And they've got to figure out how to plug that leak a little bit, right? Keep them away from the quarterback because when he's not being hit, as you mentioned, they're moving the ball well. The 49ers are going to turn over to the special teams crew. The field goal unit is out there now. And his kick is good. And the 49ers take a 3-0 lead. So an opening drive field goal maybe doesn't whip this crowd into a frenzy, but I think that they will take the early lead. There's no doubt about it. They will always take the early lead, and maybe that celebration comes later if they play well and they can break things open. But right now, this is all about letting the offense just get settled in. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Cardinal offense here ready to take over. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left. More football. <laughs> We're only in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team. And that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also isn't much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs. So they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum down. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. Sliding out of the pocket. And this is caught. Right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. That goes for a gain of 31. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside. 
and he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. First down, Stewart. And right side, Henry's got it. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Space inside the 10. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. As his guys are in for six. And the Cardinals are in for six. As more and more up-tempo football creeps into the NFL game, some coaches don't think time of possession matters anymore. I believe we found one of them. Extra point splits the uprights. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that. They weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. A really nice gain of 25 yards. strike they'll look to throw he's going to loft one deep over the middle and this is caught and he's going to take it in touchdown san francisco a big play there his fourth touchdown on the year and the 49ers are able to strike quickly for six point after right down the middle and the lead is now 10 to 7 The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And with a marker down, he's up just past the 25-yard line, but I think they're going to be going backwards. Let's check the call. Yeah, this is going to put them back with a not great field position. So they really got zero benefit at all, right? Sometimes you can absorb a penalty when you get a big return. Then the penalty brings it back, but you still have great field position. As you pointed out, not in this case. Play fake here on first down. Going deep downfield for Ross. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Cardinals. A big play there. 84 yards. And the Cardinals are able to show off their quick strike ability. And that is how you retaliate after getting scored on one play. Big pass downfield, and you hit the end zone. Almost feels like two boxers just throwing haymakers at each other, doesn't it? One connects with a big one, the other comes right back. Okay, I'll show you. And they attacked right back on the first play of the drive and hit them big. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. 
And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The 49ers offense making its way back out there. These two teams trading touchdowns here in what has been a back-and-forth first half. And ordinarily, we're trying to figure out how to break out of a stalemate. Here, you're trying to figure out if you can slow someone down while continuing your breakneck pace on offense. I know one thing. The people in the crowd, they're getting their money's worth right now. And the fantasy owners like it. Oh, without a doubt. They're just towering them up, aren't they? <laughs> they're watching this game. They'll start on the ground with Lynch. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. No, 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 no. Check. Patriot. Patriot. First down, the run with Lynch. Finding some room at midfield. And all the way down to the 41-yard line. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Well, plenty of credit has to go to the guy carrying the ball. He broke the tackle and gained the yardage. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the defender's bad. They're not going to make 100% of the tackles all the time. Even the best in the game will miss one occasionally. The key is not to let it snowball and miss tackle after tackle. On that play, credit to the offense, but that doesn't make the defense bad. Throwing on first down. Fields. Flushed out right. And a tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. Four minutes to play here in quarter number two. Leopard! 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 Gone! 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 Now a whistle, and I think a penalty here for a delay. No, they're going to say timeout. They did get the timeout in time. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Four minutes to play here in quarter number two. Leopard! Leopard! No, 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 no. Check. Patriot! Patriot! Back to the air on second down. Fields. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Here we go now. Green, 39. Green, 39. Throwing on third and long. Fields. He's going to wind up and air it out. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle is going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. 
Penalty stings big time there. Wipes away a very good return. And they work out it so hard because the goal is to give yourself some space for your offense to really work. Try and gain an additional first down outside the 20 or 25 yard line. Instead, this one's going to come back. So the special teams penalty costs some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. First down, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. Gets this one left side to Pettis. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. And they'll get nine there as that sets them up better for third down. When you call a wide receiver screen, no matter how many blockers you get in front of the guy that catches the ball, there's still an aspect of the guy catching it, turning into a runner, breaking tackles, and creating his own yardage, and he just did on that play. Ohio, Ohio. Ferguson on third and short, and he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Ohio! Ohio! Cut. Off the play fake. Stewart. Flush to his right. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. A wise move there. Looked like nobody open. Now second down. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it, or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise Ohio. with it. Got Ohio. rid of it. No one got it. Let's go. White 90. White 90. Ohio. Ohio. <laughs> now Stewart. Off play action. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catching the football, but... Let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. To throw is Stewart. Operating from the gun. Going to throw right side here, complete. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up the first down. Stewart now. Off the play fake. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. So a minute 56 to play in this first half. Back to more NFL action on EA Sports after this. Second down carry for Ferguson. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Flex just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Flex round! Flex round! Flex round! Flex round! Flex round. On first again, they go with Ferguson. <laughs> Twisting away. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down.
They'll toss it to Hunt. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. The Cardinals into the red zone for the first time. It's first and 10 from the 12. Ohio, Ohio. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me... I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. Diluting the pressure right. He finds Ross right side. It's complete. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. And a stoppage here, a timeout before this third down play takes place. As it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. The Cardinals on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and eight. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get three before the half and expand that lead. And they have to be happy about that. And we haven't met a team yet that doesn't put an emphasis on trying to get points on the board in the last two minutes of a the half. They'll be real excited to have those up on the board. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. On the handoff, Lynch. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Well, they have the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. To throw on second down. Fields forced out to his left. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Cardinals out in front. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter they're down here but very much in this game what, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission typically what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that sure you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down but overall i think they want to stay positive stay up with this team we're just starting the second half and we've got the football Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Desmond King making the tackle. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Second and six, Watch just inside down, the 30. Body. They'll run again with Lynch. 
He finds an opening past the 40. And he's going to get this to the 40-yard line. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense think it's going to be a pass. Jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. The drive, the they've drive. been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. And he'll be wrapped up around the waist and pushed down. Deion Jones. Not dropping into coverage. He comes on the blitz and takes him down for a loss of nine. Solid gain of 23. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Hey, hey. On the give, this is Lynch. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground the shaking when the those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. Incomplete, almost intercepted. They haven't picked him off yet. Would have been a great time for the first, but instead it's third down. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Here we go now. Three, 19. They'll run it. Here's Lynch. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Officially a gain of just a yard there, but they do convert on third and inches. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On first down, Fields. Steps away to his left. Space to run past the 20. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. Able to find a lot of empty space there. Picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. Chased out left, and he'll slide down to avoid the contact. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to break 
make one tackle, but then quickly brought down. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down and four now. Now, that was a good job by the defense swarming to the football, and you know it's no cinch that you're going to be able to get the ball into the end zone against them. They're number two against the run. So what's an offensive coordinator to do? Check your playlist. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal, you did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes, you don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. And he'll get this just up past the 20, but a marker is down. Let's get the call. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. This is Hunt. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Stewart. And this complete to Henry over the middle. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves to James. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's Cardinal football. They're also out in front of the scoreboard as we get set for the fourth. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now. Just stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Throwing right, and that's complete. It's a big play on third down for the Cardinals. 54 yards. Well, probably the only thing he did wrong there was go out of bounds, nursing this fourth quarter lead. You want to stay in, eat the clock. Yeah, you got to love the effort, the catch, the extra yardage, but you've got to know the situation. Stay in bounds, young man. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Ohio! 
From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Out to his left. And he fires one incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Stewart firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet man because of the coverage. It was way too tight, unable to find anyone open. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Big play coming Back up. Now. Here's third Back and ten. Now. I would expect to see some pressure here. Third down, Ferguson. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. A good pick up there, seven yards, but it brings up fourth down. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Now from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Out on the field now, here come the 49ers. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And Callaway taking it in left side. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Detroit! Detroit! From the gun, Fields. And he lost the football. And this is recovered by the Cardinals. I know that taking care of the football is something that's drummed into every guy who plays this position no matter what, whether he's running it, in the pocket, out of the pocket. But it's almost surprising to me that there aren't more fumbles by that position because of the way that they get attacked on each and every play. Yeah, well, he had the fumble last week. Now, here's two weeks in a row with a fumble loss. Concentration has got to be there, and he's got to understand how much time he has to take care of a play. And maybe his clock is off just a little bit. Here's Stewart. Following the fumble recovery, he'll throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. This is Ferguson, and he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, 
I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. And I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in, and all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. Throw on second down. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Brandon, that's just football 101. If you're out of the pocket, you've got to get rid of the football in this situation. You cannot take a sack in a two-minute drill. Throwing on third and long. Flushed out, and he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. And now the 49ers signal for a timeout defensively as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. It's a wobbler here. And San Francisco gets set to go here. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Well, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. He's got his man on the crossing route. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. A really nice gain of 25 yards. to Lynch and down inside the 40 to about the 38 a solid run on first down gain of seven leaves him with a second and three I like it I like the call still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock escaping the pressure right when in doubt do it yourself as he keeps it for three and a first down Late in the game, defense trying to avoid a big play. He's able to work out of the passing game, turn it into a run, pick up the first, and stop the clock as well. And you know in this situation, everything is sped up. The intensity, 
the thinking, everyone's movements. But for a quarterback, he has to continue to be what we call a flatliner, level in everything he does, and read the clock, feel it in the pocket, and go at the appropriate time. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. He's back to throw. Flush to his right. He's going to let it fly. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. I want to go back to something you said in the first quarter. Is, about it, winning. is, is it a positive? It is a positive. Okay. Well, about winning the turnover battle. As a visiting <laughs> team, as an underdog, you were right. They've done just that, and look where it's gotten them. It's part of the formula. When you go on the road, as you mentioned, being an underdog, winning the turnover battle is a big key, and this one's Detroit! playing out in this Detroit! one. Here's a give to Lynch. <laughs> And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. I know they got a little yardage there, but I'm not sure their investment is right. They're still running the football, and I'm not sure there's enough time to continue to do that. And they work this near the 5. He'll be stopped at the 6. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven. But first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Back to throw. Now he'll escape to his left. And he is across and in for the score. And now they can tie the game in the final stages with the extra point. Or they can go for two and go for the win. So getting the big touchdown they needed late in the fourth. Now what do you do? You conservative and just tie it up? No, I think you put your practice into game situation. Go as fast as possible. You already have your play call ready to go. Go for two and decide it right now. A very important extra point there, up and good, and we may very well be headed to overtime. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So out now come the Cardinals. They have a little bit of time here to get into field goal range. Not much. A tie game, you don't want to do anything crazy, right? I agree with you on that one. Risk-reward, okay? If you go for it, what is the absolute reward on this? But the risk is probably greater. Run the clock out, get to overtime, and try and win it there. All right, we'll see if they do just that. To throw with Stewart on first down. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now a final chance to stop it here as a timeout comes in with 10 seconds left in the game. This quarterback now 6 for 6 since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and 10. Stewart now from the gun. He'll throw. Pressure. And he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Flex round, flex round. Ohio, Ohio. Ohio, Ohio. Flex round, flex round. Cut. Operating from the gun. Stewart, he's going to air one out. And it's knocked away and incomplete. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it 
or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. This will be taken in at the one. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. Except for their first drive here in overtime. And this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day. But I know what you're saying. In overtime, that gets doubled, doesn't it? At least. Because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team. And that first drive can dictate the whole thing. Because they know if this team takes it downfield and scores a touchdown, it's game over. It's been loud in here so far. Throwing on first down, Stewart. He couldn't quite hold it, got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. Keeping the aggression going on defense in overtime here, a first down blitz. You know you can get burned on it big time if they pick it up, but in this situation, they brought the blitz, put some pressure on the QB, and he wasn't able to complete a pass downfield. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. Here we go! Pass 38! Pass 38! Ohio! Ohio! Cut. Here's Stewart, off play action. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Stewart off the play fake. They'll roll him out right. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Henry, and he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. Now Stewart, throwing on fourth down. And this is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that right, in terms like of locking like in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, I've, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen Hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. So here we go, maybe the biggest kick of the game, forthcoming. This will be from 49 yards out. And he got it! The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. And now the Cardinals are going to use another timeout. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. We were just treated to an absolute dandy in this one. A great finish in overtime with a long field goal. Everybody, including us, on the edge of their seats. Quite a game. And it's rare that you get a game into overtime that it doesn't turn out to be a dandy, right? That's what we saw here. And just what you were talking about, a long field goal to win it. So definitely not a gimme. So there was tension all the way through until the ball went through the post. But it did go through the post. Ice water was in his veins. So for San Francisco, the win gets them back over 500 at 5-4 five and four on the year. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for Arizona, the loss will drop them to 6-2 and two now on the year. And they'll be on the road next week for a matchup with the Carolina Panthers.